Hey everyone, it's me again. Um, as you can tell by the title, I'm actually doing something of a Halloween marathon for this month. So I'm going to be watching a bunch of horror movies, playing some horror games, and even watching some horror TV shows. And, you know, hopefully I'll be able to give you guys my thoughts on them as we go along. Um, starting up, we have Blood and Roses from 1960. Um, it's this European horror movie. In fact, the original title is like Et mourir de placer, le sang et la hose. I mean, I'm not French, right? Thank Christ, but I think that's how you say it. Um, it's directed by Roger Vadim, I think that's how you say it. It's the same guy who directed Barbarella, funny enough. Uh, this is an adaptation of the classic book Carmilla, and as such, our main character, Carmilla von Karnstein, is a rich aristocrat living in 1960s Italy. Her cousin Leopoldo and her best friend Georgia are getting married. The problem here is that Carmilla is in love with both of them. Uh, nothing a good threesome can't solve if you ask me, but I guess we need a movie to happen. Um, because of her sadness or at losing her two loves, Carmilla gets more and more obsessed with the legend of Malarca von Karnstein, her ancestor who was rumored to be a vampire. After this, Carmilla begins acting strange, and before too long, a dead body shows up. Uh, now, be warned, my description kind of makes the movie sound more eventful than it is. It's really sort of a mood piece, it has a runtime of barely over an hour and ten minutes, and it doesn't have the most eventful plot full of twists and turns. What it does have, however, is the ability to create an incredibly gothic yet romantic atmosphere. Beautiful cinematography, natural scenery full of trees and old ruins, a moody soundtrack, genuinely gorgeous women, all of it helps create this, atm this atmosphere, so thick you could cut it with a knife. It's not for everybody, not in the least, but if you're ever awake late at night and you're in the mood for the strange mix of romance, beauty, and melancholy that gothic art provides, you should let yourself be seduced by blood and roses. So yeah, those are my thoughts. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. And soon enough, I'll have another video talking about another movie I watched. This one, a bit more on the gory side.